Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to link you to some important tutorials I made few months ago. The full tutorials are on our YouTube channel, I'm going to put them in the project resources. In this video, I left what's important for you to watch so we can continue the tutorial. At the end of this tutorial, you should know what Unreal Engine is, you should have it on your machine, and you should have also Datathmeth and Lushuang GPU light mass. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Hey guys, this is Yahya from VR Division and welcome to our first tutorial in Unreal Engine 4. Today, I will show you my process in creating architectural projects in Unreal Engine and in future lessons, we will explain everything in detail. First, we will download Unreal Engine, then we will install Datathmeth for 3ds Max, and then we will get Lushang GPU Light Baker. As an example, we will use a beautiful scene from our motion and we will export it from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine using Datathmeth Exporter. So our first step is getting Unreal Engine 4 and to do that, let's go to Google and search for it. If you recently got GTA 5 from Epic Store, then you have an account. If you don't have an account, then you need to create one. If you're using Unreal Engine 4 for architecture like me, then you need to select a creator's license. After you select a license, your browser will download Epic Games Launcher. Set up the launcher on your computer and sign in. Click on Unreal Engine on the left not friends, Unreal Engine. The first page you will see is basically what's up. This page updates on regular basis. For example, you're going to see what's free on the marketplace this month. If you click on the learn tab, you will find so many projects that you can download and learn from. I started using Unreal Engine more than five years ago. And if it was not for this tab, wow, I don't think I would be where I am today. So I highly recommend exploring this tab. Now to get Unreal Engine, click on library. In library, you will find the engine versions you got in, on your machine and you will find your projects and you will find the content you buy from the marketplace. To add an engine version, click on the little plus button on the left and select the latest version. In my case, I already got Unreal 4.25.1. After you select a version, click on install, select a location, then click on install again. Oh boy, it's Datathmeth time. Datathmeth is like magic. It's a collection of tools and plugins that help you bringing your projects to Unreal Engine 4. This tool saved me weeks, if not months, of additional work. So in our case, we need to download the exporter for 3ds Max. Click download and try installing the plugin faster than me. It's time for Lushuang GPU Light Map Baker. If you use Unreal Engine mainly for architecture, this will make your life so much easier. However, it's super important that you read the first page and understand the limitations of the baker. For example, it's written in CUDA, therefore it works on NVIDIA cards only. After you download the baker, copy it to your engine and extract the files, then replace all. Unreal Engine is the world's most advanced real-time 3D creation tool. It's a complete suite of creation tools for game development, architecture, automotive, virtual production. It's evolving every day and it gives us creators across all industries the freedom and control to deliver cutting-edge content. So I will assume you already followed my first tutorial. You got Epic Games Launcher and you installed Unreal Engine on your machine. What you need to do now is click Launch. You will notice there are four different categories. Feel free to explore all these categories and their templates. I actually recommend you doing that. It would surprise you. For example, there is this amazing product configurator. In our case, let's click on games, click next, select a blank template, also click next. Let's set a location for our project and give it a name. Let's keep it at blueprint, no ray tracing for now, enable with starter content and then click on create project. 